shall we clap for Jesus? Turn to your neighbor and greet your neighbor. Say, you are welcome. Say, you are welcome. Welcome your neighbor. Welcome your neighbor. In Jesus' name. I welcome your neighbor. Say, you are welcome. Without smiling, you need to show the smile. Uh, show that smile to your neighbor. You are welcome. Uh -huh. Me too, you are welcome. In Jesus' name. Thank you. You may be seated. People of God, I want to you know, continue standing where I was standing from Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Because for me, I don't see Easter as one of, you know, the holidays or the name Jesus. It is the way of life. In fact, that is life in reality. If we were to worship Jesus just on Good Friday, then after Easter, we start, you know, doing things according to the flesh, then you are telling that Jesus, you died for nothing. And your death was just for a day. For me, I see the name Jesus as the way of life. Where Jesus is not in charge, life is lost. You are misled by the flesh. I will take you back again to the book of John, the one that you know. Because for me, the way I read the Bible, I can just read one verse and spend the whole day with that verse. But what, you know, I receive is more than that verse. Don't read the Bible like a newspaper or the story of a the heroes of this world. No. Bible is life. Bible is what? When the spirit of God is involved. Because it was the word that created what we see and what you become. There was nothing like machine uh, to manufacture a bone, machine to manufacture a leg, machine to manufacture the head. No, just a word. Let us make man in our own image, according to our likeness. He just spoke a word. There you become as a human being. And who was in that word? The man Jesus. He was the word used by his father to create everything. And after God created everything, this is what we read from John chapter 1. But I want to start from verse 9. John chapter 1. I don't want to start from uh, verse 1, but I, I want to start from verse 9 so that uh, I carry you step by step. Jesus was the word before he became the flesh. And after he became the flesh, he became the power. Three stages. He was the word. I will take you there. He was what? This is why if you believe in this man, he is the only man. If there is a man here, hmm, go and ask someone to put you on the cross for your family members, if you can afford. I don't want to say for all of us, only your children, if you are a man, Go and ask them to say, please, can you put me on the cross? I want to die for my family. If truly you are a man enough, you will run away. You do what? Why must I die for my children? Eh? He is the only way to live here on earth, even after. You can't find peace, people of God, in this world without Jesus. Money cannot give you peace. Your education cannot give you peace. Children cannot give you peace. 
Marriage cannot give you peace. What can give you peace? Is Jesus. Not Jesus by the history. No. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Within you. If you take him like, you know, uh, the history, then you are not talking about Jesus who came to save you. You are talking about the history of the man who came. Let's go. Verse 9. The light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. The light. Before it was the word. Here the Bible is saying that the true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. Sorry, I jumped the truth. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was the word. Here they describe him as the light. Because he's coming, the word you know, became pregnant with power. The power, I mean, the light was now to be uh, shown as the power to fight Satan. Let me not jump. I, I, I want to carry you step by step. Listen to verse 10. He was in the world, although the world was made through him. The world did not recognize him. He was in the world, and the world was created. In, for me, it is by him. But the world did not recognize its creator. Because there was already a standard established by Satan and his activities. Life was completely lost. There was no direction whatsoever. People were just living in darkness. He was the word to create. After created you and me, he realized that, oh, the people that my father created are no longer, you know, uh, existing in my presence or in the presence of my father. So he accepted your wrong. He did not look at your behavior. Remember what happened at the time of Noah. Noah was called all kinds of names. He's smart. He's what? Anything spiritual cannot be understood by this kind of mind. This is why even the Bible, you see people are raising Bible to swear. Tomorrow they will start stealing. Because they are using blame. This Bible cannot be used by your blame. It is by the Spirit of God. That is the mistake we are making. Even understanding, you cannot understand the Bible because you know English. No. There are people can preach. After preaching, they'll go back to their, you know, evil way. He came as a light so that people can now see that they are in darkness. Because before Jesus came, there was nothing like we are in darkness. It was just a, a normal life. People were enjoying Drinking, fornicating, anything evil was just like a, a good life. Now, you know, in Ishtakwa, the Bible land that Chawaman of Wafi. Muleke, if you look at what I'm going to have no problem. But in Gachaka Dipa, that's when you realize that, ah, oh, I'm going now. Are you there, people of God? Listen to this now. He was in the world. And although the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. Listen to verse 11. He came into which was his own, but his own did not receive him. The people that he followed, the people that he created as his own people, they did not receive him. He created you and me and he followed you to say, you have lost. You are going to die. You are going to hell. I am here as a light now. You know, it's like kulendo muafita. Tell you. Elo muntu wa kubati. If you mulendo muafita, kwa hali baba ngoshe kuno. Aku mkonkeni munu mana tochi mule monoponde. You will see a snake. Are you going to match a snake? No. Oh, there's a snake. 
bring the stone. You kill the snake. After killing the snake, you continue moving again. That is Jesus. For you to know that this is sin, unless Jesus is part of your life. For you to know that gossiping is bad, unless Jesus is part of your life. For you to know that drinking, smoking, humanizing is evil, unless Jesus is part of your life. As long as you are a human being with flesh and blood, without Jesus in your life, sin will be sweet to you. There's nothing wrong with sin. When people talk about beer, you see them that, like they don't know what they are talking about. Please leave my life alone. I know what I'm doing. I've got rights. And Satan enjoyed the word human rights. He likes that word. In that word, he can operate. In that word, he can make you a lesbian, a gay, in the name of what? Human rights. This is what Jesus came for. Why are we celebrating him like Ukusevya uh, Pangwena? No, he is life. If you are eating today and Jesus is not part of your life, you are in darkness. If your wife, your husband loves you so much and you feel good when your husband says, sit here baby, uh, I want to see you. I, I feel good when you are very close to me. It's just a matter of time because you are in darkness. The enemy is watching because the one who controls darkness is who? It is Satan, the boss of darkness. And you are there under his power. You are expecting that joy to continue. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Darkness was quenched by the name Jesus. Before he came, there was total darkness. Even today, those who may feel like just because you have got the Bible, you read the Bible every day. Uh, you read maybe from John, uh, Luke, Matthew, uh, Mark. It doesn't mean that you are in the light. You are reading the history. Jesus must be part of your life because he was the word. After discover that you are in darkness, he became the light. To give you life so that you know what you are doing. The life that you are living. The way you treat your fellow human beings. The way you talk about your fellow human beings. It is only Jesus who can tell that please. They are, they are like you. Praise the Lord. I hope and trust I will, I will take you to where Jesus wants you to be. His own people that he followed rejected him. Who rejected Jesus, if I ask you this question? Is it you? Eh? Who rejected Jesus? Is it you? Answer me now. Who rejected him? Eh? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. We are many here. We are over 2,000. I can't hear you. Uh -huh. It is us. How do you know that you rejected him? The secret that you are keeping, the one you don't want people to know, that is the way you are rejecting him. You smoke privately. You are in darkness. You are saying, no, carry the light somewhere. I'm not interested in your light. Let me continue enjoying. You have a man friend. You are a married woman. You have a girlfriend. You are a married man. You are rejecting him because you enjoy. Do you know that sin is very sweet? Hmm? Sin is what? Never give your muntunga paper, monakwati, as uncle president. No, Quendan is a station. A chinja, the tonton canya in an aquata brain. Eh, songa, if you song an avicamo, the quata mapranz atari atari. Nadi mukola. No one, no muntunga. If you feel a station. I was watching one clip where the man was dancing with the Adchimone Chimuti, Uquicaro, Kabula, no Kukulanda. <laughs> I was watching and said, look at this man. Eh? The man is using the gospel now to, uh, to dance in a beer parlor. He was see, you know, how I wish I had a big time so that I can show you the way this man was, you know, dancing. Sin is very sweet, but the fruit of sin is bitter. When you are eating sin, you enjoy sin. 
But the fruit of that sin is what? This is what Jesus came for. But you are still rich. Let's go. Verse 12. I hope you are listening to me. Yet, take note of this. This is verse 12. Yet, to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave them the light to become children of God. It is not only your confession. Jesus has to confirm if truly that word is from where. He gave the light to those who receive and believe in his name to become what? Children of God. Children of what? Of God. I know that uh, Easter has gone. Then uh, there's nothing like I'm taking you back. I want to refresh your heart, not your mind. So that you understand who is Jesus. Why Jesus? Why not Moses? Why not John? Why not Elijah? Who is the, what is the meaning of this name Jesus? Why Jesus? The name Jesus, people of God, is life. The meaning and the reality of life is in that name Jesus. This is why evil people cannot accept the name Jesus. Because they are destined to go to hell. Unless when you know your eyes is open, you know that, ah, ah. I thought I've got life. Ah, the life is there. Which life? Jesus. Eternal, eternal life, eternal, eternal life. I want to live eternal. save my word. Not food, clothes, money. We have buried professors in this world. We have buried president in this world. They are, you know, president that died while he's in office. All the doctors of the specialists who go and surround the president to save his life. No one can save your life. No one can protect your life, people of God. It is only Jesus. When Jesus is present, even a witch cannot come near your body. Even if there is cancer in your body, that cancer cannot take your life prematurely. Cancer will go to bed and sleep until the time to leave this world. That's when cancer will wake up because you are going now. Unlike the life we are living, it is only Jesus he was the word, and darkness covered the world. God sent him to be the light of his children, so that you could see that the life you are living is evil. You have rebelled against your creator. If, you know, Jesus was not sent, sin was like just a normal life. Even you and me, you can agree, before now, although some of you, Tamula Alekelela, that's why this message has come so that he, yeah. 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 
Because if you don't know this, you are in darkness. Jesus is the light. He's like a torch. Watching you, what you are doing. He said, I am here as the light. Why can't you get this light so that you live a normal life? So that you live my life? Because you are out of me. As long as you are out of me, you are a dead person. Come back to me so that you receive life. He's reminding that I was the word who created you. I became the light so that you could see that you are in darkness. Let me take you now to the place where Jesus became the flesh. Because when he appeared here on earth, he now wear your what? Your body. So that he can carry our sin. So that he can paralyze the power of what? Sin. Thank you. Listen to verse 13. Children born not of a natural descent or of human decision or husband's will, but born of God. Meaning, when Jesus comes upon your life, you are calling to nature, the flesh and the spirit born from above. That cannot be killed by anything who can use the flesh to kill the inside. When Satan tried to kill you know the flesh so that the inside can be destroyed, the inside will react because you are not born from a man. No. You have become now the nature of God inside you. Physically, you are resembled your father or your mom. But the inside is now Jesus. Meaning, the perfection or the perfect life has come upon you so that sin cannot mislead you. Whether it is beer, gossiping, drinking, there are people as you know, sometimes in Angutamle Fo Kwamba, Nangu Kwiba, Pamandoka, you are a human being. People can influence you. But Jesus in Gaingra Murimwe, you are born from above. Mwaishiba, Ava Pachalo, Chimono Kwebati, Muli Patawa, Mule Tambaba Leiba Pisa, Panshi, Mule Monefia Chalo Chavipa. You are born from above. You cannot be deceived by anyone. Even if a woman will come and pass, you know where you are. Nowadays, women are no longer, you know, wearing clothes. The advert is now all over. With Jesus inside you, you look at that woman who is naked, you say, this woman is a fool. But with the flesh, when you see this, uh, how do you call this one? Hip. When you see him passing to where you are, you, you, you don't know. You feel like because you are what? You are in the flesh. But with Jesus inside you, the light of life, the true light of life, you see that person as a foolish person. You will not pay attention to that. Even in that office where there is corruption, where people are trying to entice you for corruption, you look at them and see them as people are not what? Thinking. You are not going to be part of that corruption because you cannot corrupt Jesus. You cannot. Thank you. I hope you are getting the picture. Listen to 14 now. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory. The glory of the one and only son who came from the father, full of grace and the truth. Immediately Jesus appeared here on earth. Remember he said to those who, who receive him and believe in his name, he gave them the light to become what? Children of the Father. Immediately Jesus appeared here on earth, he became the flesh. To understand your weakness. So that he can, you know, push you forward. Because in God, if you have a mumpash, you have a mumpash. But he became the flesh so that he can arrest the sin within your body. He was walking among us, full of grace. He never proposed a woman. Even Yama Ule and Gadia Ule, the Afrika Padiena, Holy Ghost, the Angela Muyule. That is the nature of Jesus in you. Nangu Munimu office, Mulech, Tikafia, Upua, Quadivari, Murimu office, Wombanaba, Fubaraba, Flunga, Naba, Onai Kamukati, Abataba, Quatayesu, Nanguanga, Mofes, Pak Fuma, Edia Le Shumba, you are full of grace. You see him as a foolish person. Because the inside is Jesus, the outside is you. 
Who is leading the, the obode? Jesus in you. Therefore, you cannot be trapped by anything. He has become the flesh. A perfect life in you now is inside you. So that you carry his grace. Listen to this. I hope you understand this. He became what? He became what? Now, this is why as believers, you must understand this. You are not like the world. No. You are inside his house. You know him and he knows you. He became the flesh and dwelling among us. We have seen his glory. The one and only son. Why are we celebrating history? Why are we confessing Jesus by the history? No, you and me, Jesus is the power in us. It is a new life in us. This is why people of God, what you cannot do before, you can do it because the creator, the source of everything is in you. Now, I want to take you to what he said. Because remember that he was the word. Okay? He came as a light when he was coming. The Bible said that the light is coming. When he landed here on earth, he became what? The flesh. And after that, he became the power. Let's go to Matthew now. So that we, we get the point. Ah, my message today is too wrong. But for you to, 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 to know this, so that when you say you are a child of God, you must know what you are talking about. Don't just say you are a child of God because you go to church. There are people who are very active and committed within our churches. They are not committed because of the Holy Spirit. They are saving their titles. When you are given a title, you may think that you are saving God. No. You need to experience his presence. You need to be sure that you talk to him and he talks to you. This is uh, the, now Jesus talking to his disciples. Follow me. He was the word. He was, you know, announced that the light is coming. Because darkness was, you know, covering all over. And when he landed here, he became what? The flesh. And that flesh was now empowered with what? Authority and the power. Let's go to this uh, Matthew 28, verse 16. The scripture that you know. There's nothing new that I'm bringing here. It is by the grace of God that your understanding maybe will be different today. Verse 16. Then the 11 disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. 17. When they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted. Are you there, people of God? Even his own disciples, when they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted. But this is not my point. The point I want to take is the word which came from Jesus to those who believe in him and accepted him. Let's go to verse 18. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. If you are a Yesu, a sange light. If you are a Shilefika, a Shilewomubiri. If you are a Mubiri, a Pachalo, a Pwirikisha Mission, a Lesa Utumine. Lesa Avula Makanensa Mbu, Isha Kwika di Lako, a Vika Muri Yesu. Because abasa mbili yu wali na Yesu pachalo. Ili yu wale wombo mulimu. Wale ndela, mumakaya di muli nani? Muli Yesu. Now, Yesu na unomba, wamu pele nsambu na maka. Aya kubula ya liya maka nsambu, awike muba fundu wa wako, wali yaba musumina, nukula mkonka. If you say you are a disciple of Jesus, this is your portion. This is your what? You don't exist for anyone. You exist for Jesus. You don't exist for your family members. 
You exist for Jesus. Now, verse 19. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely, I am with you always. To the very end of the age. What are you learning from this? He was the word. I am not complicating my preaching. He was what? He became the light when he was coming. And he shined. There he landed, he became what? The flesh. Now he cannot leave the flesh without he empowering what? The flesh. Because if Jesus were to leave the world without empowering his children, Satan is a manipulator. He can manipulate the flesh. So he has to empower you with what? His power in the name of Jesus. So that you can live to his glory. You can live to worship him. You can live to support the kingdom of God. He said, go now. Unless Nabamisa Mumubidi. Oh, I don't know if you understand this. Do you understand this? You are empowered by him. In some bushon se kumulu, pachalo, na pando shesha bapa family. Shapelua, kuba nabakwe. Elwa wa tinomba kutimu ya. Te timu yokuwa bula makaya andi mfilia naendele pachalo. Alewe, chumuno kwa te alewa ti. Inele sangatabi kili ya makamuli ine. Ichalonga chari njipaya. So nangu ni muevo. Te tuwalimona po bashuma pepo wale ya mkushimikile chebo. Bapere fumo. Tamuwa mfu wako. Maybe some of you, you are victims of us. Hmm? In the process of preaching, becoming prayer partners, story ya chinja. You cannot carry the Bible and you know you deceive yourself that you are representing Jesus. Jesus must be in you, talking to you. Don't go there. Go that side. Don't stand here. Stand there. Don't answer this call. You can answer this call. Don't go to that wedding. You can sit at home. That is Jesus we know. Hmm? Don't just carry the history and you are championing to say, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Even criminals can preach a very powerful message in the flesh, but without Jesus. After preaching, they will continue stealing. You don't know that he's a criminal. How many spiritualists today who are all over deceiving people? How are you going to know them? Jesus in you. He said, you can go now. Hmm. This one, let me conclude. I, I wanted to take you to Mark, uh, Acts chapter 1. Verse 8. But you will receive power when the Spirit comes on you. You will do what? When the Spirit does what? Comes on you. These are the instructions Jesus gave them to say, go and wait until power comes, with, comes wait upon you. You receive power when the Spirit comes on you. There, listen to this now. And you'll be my witnesses. So you cannot witness, I mean you cannot be a witness of Jesus without his what? His power. What can make me not to drink beer? If I was a drunker. If I was a criminal, if I was a humanizer, a smoker, what can stop me not to do that, those things is Jesus in me. Every Sunday, something is wrong with your life. You are busy saving your title inside the church. You are busy quoting the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. But look at your spiritual life. Jesus is life. Tell your neighbor, say, Jesus is life. Jesus is life. Say it again. Jesus is life. Yes. As long as mulei kaloku abula yesu, tamuakwata life. Muakwata fio mulopa, no munofu. 
Simple. You may not agree with me. You may not agree with me, but it's Bible. You can agree with the Bible. He is life. He is what? This is why I want to live eternal life. God saved my life. I can't save myself. There are so many things that can destroy you. There are so many things that can disturb you. Look at your temper. You are quick tempered. Mulibaka so. Mulibalu pato. Mulibalu budi. Kute mwenganga. But kuche ichi ni mwaba leader. Who are you deceiving? Who will be there at the last day of your life here on earth? Is it not you? Why are you deceiving yourself? Who are you deceiving? No one. You are just killing yourself. He came to empower his children so that we can walk in power. Not more history, our way. Jesus is not history. It is the power of life. Ngandenda songa mwanji mina le salo le shofi mwanji mina asunkanya makaya kwe muri ine. Ngamule pingo kunji paya asunkanya makaya kwe muri ine. Mwakula la lotro tokati ngamansa wukani 12 hours. Tumwana uwa mukaloa. Aha. Tuwaloa kupanga. Yesu alimuri ine wise undo ni shina wala muro wela kumo. Each of us we are empty. We confess what we are not calling. He came to empower your life, both spiritually and physically. So that Avaluaninga Vaima, she over Shama will rise. She over Yahweh will stand for you to say, This is my property. That is Jesus. Don't just carry the history. No, to afuma kuma pepo. To afuma kuma pepo. Nense le fulu fulu. No. No. No, people of God. He is real. He is what? They know him by his power. They recognize him by his power. The signs and wonders accompany his people. Ah, I think let me just uh, uh, give you this one. Listen to Mark 16. Verse 20. I, I, I just want to pick the point. Then the disciples went out and preached everywhere. And the Lord worked with them and confirmed his word by the signs that accompany it. People are carrying the history. There must be a sign. There is no way. Something is wrong with your, your mind. Musungwa fialo mukaraji. Nanguinga fita shani. Mwanata kafiari kwenga yue. There is no way you can say you are a child of God without his signs. Power must accompany you. Power must follow you. Power must be seen in your life. Power must talk to your enemy. Power must talk to your business. Power must talk to your future. That is Jesus in your body. You can't tell me that you are a child of God without power. No, power must be seen. The signs and wonders accompany the disciples. What makes people of, you know, I mean, the, the apostles, the prophets, and all the believers not to be afraid of anyone is the power inside them. Because power creates you. You cannot fight power inside me. This is why you see a man who is very uh, tall, when he manifested, you start, you know, uh, displaying his power. Uh, to threaten the body. But later he realized that it is not this body. Something is coming out of this man. To neutralize that power. Before you know it, the giant is on the floor vomiting. Oh, oh. That is Jesus in you, please. Don't carry the history. Carry the power. Move by the power. Talk by the power. What can limit your business, what can afflict your life, is evil power. What can destroy evil power is Jesus' power inside your body. When you talk, even when you are quiet, power is talking. Do you know that in Gamuana and Wapa Yama Satanist, you are a child of God, you are calling Jesus. They will recognize that this one, 
Because power will be coming out of you. Flashing them. They will run away from you. They will just say, no, Balanda, Tikutibaya, eh, Bakamieva. You walk majestically. You walk what? God, God bless you. <laughs>